Black men, we have to do better. Yes, we are hurting right now. Yes, it is completely justified, but so are the rest of us. Our black women are hurting right now. Our trans, our queer communities are hurting right now. Their survival, their well-being, their humanity is inextricably linked with our own, and it is high time that we step up and support our own. And that means changed behavior. And that is work that we need to do within ourselves, but it is also work we need to do as friends, as mentors, and as parents. We need to rethink that talk that we are giving our children. All black people know there is a talk that all black kids get at some point in their lives. It is a talk about race, about privilege, about safety. It is a rite of passage, and it is critical that we have it with our kids because it is a talk of survival. It is essential for our children to survive. And we talk about you will be treated differently from white folks. Not everybody is going to like you as a person, but there are some out there who will not like you because of your skin color. You need to be tough. Don't let them see you weak. Don't let them see you cry. You need to work harder than the white kids in your class to see the same type of success. And matter of fact, while you're at it, you need to be more successful than them. When you are pulled over by the cops, be respectful. Don't talk back. Do what they say, move slowly and deliberately, narrate all of your movements. And even when you do all of these things, there is no guarantee that it's going to turn out in your favor. You will be treated unfairly. You will be judged and have unfair expectations placed on your shoulders. None of these things are your fault, but they are your reality. We know this speech. It is well rehearsed. But the thing is, if we invest so much to ensure the survival of our boys, why aren't we doing as much to protect our women? Why aren't we sitting our sons down and saying, son, our women are strong and loving, and they are also vulnerable. They are subject to the same harm as we are from the outside world, but they carry more burden with them because they are also subject to harm from us and they are also expected to take care of everybody else, to care for everybody else. We must make sure that we protect them from harm, harm from the outside world, harm from ourselves. They support us endlessly. They love us unconditionally, unselfishly, and will stick by and up for us seemingly no matter what. We must return the love that they show us. And that love and protection is not only reserved for our mothers, for our sisters, for our nieces. A woman's relationship to you does not determine her worth as a human being. We must protect all black women, period. All of them. We don't hit We don't humiliate, we don't degrade, we don't gaslight, we don't abuse, we don't leech and deplete them of their emotional energy until they have nothing left for themselves. And if you see any other black men doing this crap, it is your responsibility to speak up, to say something. Love them as they love you. Fight for them as they fight for you. Honor, not harm. Uplift not destroy, love, not hate. When we talk to our boys about sex, we need to teach them consent. We need to say, look, man, she don't have to like you. She don't even have to talk to your funky behind. She doesn't owe you a thing. Women don't exist to pleasure you. Now, Lord knows the schools, (laughs) the schools ain't going to teach black history with any kind of authenticity or any kind or in any kind of substantial way, because in this country, we still view black history and American history as two separate entities. But when we teach our boys about black history, we must make sure to include 
the contributions of women. And when we talk to our young boys about the Black Lives Matter movement, we need to make sure they don't forget that that movement was actually started by black women. They have always been down for us. It is now our time to be down for them. It is long overdue. We need to have similar conversations um, surrounding our queer communities with our kids, our trans and non-binary folk. We can no longer uphold these stupid, homophobic, transphobic beliefs. It is a poison and it is time for us to start giving ourselves the antidote. We need to commit to uplifting all black lives, not just our own. Our survival as a species, as a people, depends on it. So let's start cultivating new ways of operating. Hold ourselves and each other to a higher standard. And let's begin instilling these ideas in the heads of our young boys so we can, we can better uplift and we can build better men than ourselves. So we can continue to advance and thrive as a proud, loving people. We got work to do. Let's get to it.